Good Samaritan is 42 years old this year. Our model was collaboration, coordination, and communication. And that was not in the buzzwords then. And now look at what has happened. We have been able to do such an impactful job in our Hamilton County area. Everybody thinks about a not-for-profit's top thing is, is money, and that is actually true. Also, it's volunteers. Volunteers are priceless, and volunteers are what makes us work because we have anywhere from six to 8,000 volunteers a, ye a year, and that includes big groups. All the donations we have go 100% to Hamilton County families, and I think that's why people like donating things to a Good Samaritan is because they know they're actually moving the needle in their own community. I think the characteristic that all volunteers have in common is they want to do something to impact their communities or to make a difference, even if it's a small difference in um, a person. But they want to impact somebody in a positive way. And I think that is rich soil for us to turn communities around. Mr. Gonzalez is a nice partner and volunteer for us, and that's how he's was introduced to us. And I think he took a very big interest in our bike program and the recycle cycles in Westfield. We were going after bicycles that were not ready for the dump or scrapyard, but actually had a lot of life left on them and people didn't know what to do with them. And so we've developed this program of picking up the bikes and re Furbishing them. One of the biggest challenges we've had over the last maybe five years is the homeless population increase. I think a lot of the last two and a half years have been uh, due to the COVID. What we're seeing is about an 89% success rate of getting those people from homelessness into hotels, stabilizing them, getting them jobs, and then moving them forward into uh, livable places. You can give one hour you can give an all day, or you can be here every week and be a volunteer. So there's some, a madras of things that you can do to impact your county.